Okay, so I've been digging around and I managed to find a link for Chromium OS uh, on GitHub and uh, it's supported on the Raspberry Pi 4 and the latest release was November, yeah, 19th of November. So I'm downloading this image, or I've already downloaded it. So I've launched Bolena Etcher. I put my SD card in, so if I select the image, which is in my downloads folder, so there it is, Chromium OS, and hit open and flash. See you in eight minutes. Okay, so this is how it looks. Uh, I've clicked on guest, browser's guest, uh, so I haven't logged in. The time is wrong. It's currently uh, 1.22 in the afternoon, but it says 5.22. Uh, so I'm going to try and click on that and see if I can change that. So if we go into settings, you can see that if you're used to a Chromebook or if you've ever used a Chromebook before, all of these menus look exactly the same. Uh, so where was time and date? It's not there, is it? Scrolls nicely with the two fingers on the trackpad. Date and time. Uh, so I tried this before and it didn't didn't seem to save it. Um, but the trouble is, if I restart, my screen capture stops working uh, because it forgets to. It, it tries to run in 4K. Uh, and I can't screen capture at 4K. So, Greenwich Mean Time, let's click on that. Dublin will do. Uh, there's no select there, is there? Maybe we'll just go back and hope that the clock sorts itself out. Time zone. No. Okay, so let's not worry about that. Let's have a look at, uh, as it's Chrome OS, let's click on the bottom here and see what we've got. So Chromium, Files and Settings. So if I click on Files, this will be interesting to see if it picks up my, yeah, so I've got my uh, SSD drive plugged in and a 32 gig RetroPie stick. So if I wanted to click on that and see what ROMs and folders and stuff are in there, I can. So that's working fine. I've got no files on here really. Uh, and I've got no downloads because obviously I've only just booted it up. Uh, so if I click off that, let's go back to here again. So well, I've already shown you settings, but I'll go through what's there. So I'm I'm on a wired connection. I'm not needing to use Wi-Fi for this. You can see Bluetooth is supported. Uh, I'll check sound in a minute to see if that works fine. Font size, device, search engine is set to Google, not surprisingly. Uh, Bluetooth. Well, let's see if I click on that. Does it detect any? Yeah, it detects my Bose speaker uh, straight away. So that's good. Nice to see. Uh, so, appearance device, search engine. What's this appearance one? Font size, displays. This is where I change my display because it defaults to 4K on my TV, which isn't good. Uh, and then device. Advanced, privacy and security, language and input, downloads, printing, accessibility. Okay, so let's close that down and so there's nothing else there, is there? If I click up on here, that would normally give you Android apps uh, on, a, on a Chromebook that supports Android apps. Um, but because this is Chromium, it doesn't have the Android apps and the APK support uh, that the normal Chrome uh, OS does. But let's do a few searches. So BBC uh, UK deals. I think I read that there's not proper hardware support, so uh, it's not going to be optimized. So I'm guessing that the YouTube test isn't going to go too well, but we'll give it a try. WebOS worked well. So BBC Home, the browser looks nice. Hot UK deals, and it feels pretty snappy. I haven't been able to overclock this. Um, I put it in my Mac, uh, which normally shows up and I edit the config.txt and it wouldn't let me. I put it on my iPad thinking, oh, maybe I'll try it on that. That didn't work either. I then went to Windows uh, and I also tried uh, Raspbian. Raspbian allowed me to look in the folders and it looks very much like a sort of Android uh, file structure, but there was no config.txt, so I can't overclock this. Uh, obviously, there may be a way. Someone else might know how to do it, but I can't do it. So let's see what the scrolling's like. Yeah, fast, little bit, little bit jerky, um, yeah, a little bit jumpy, but it's fast. 
and it's responding, oh, it's not that nice. Uh, so Hot UK Deals, let's click on something. Here we are, Amazon Music. Uh, click on a BBC story. Ronaldo, did I see Ronaldo? Did something, it's NBA. Oh, I see. I thought he was going to join the NBA. Uh, so, yeah, that works fine. Let's try YouTube. Oh, clicking on the wrong thing. It feels, it's responsive. So Chrome is a, is a very nice lightweight OS, which is very good. Uh, so, let's click on a video with a bit of movement in it. Should we try that? And then if we click on, oh, I can't click on 1080 on the advert, so skip ads, click on 1080 and full screen. Oh, it's just going to look good. Oh, that's good. I've got no sound. Oh, and that was a bit paused. Oh, that's jerking a bit. So, let's go... 720 out of interest because it doesn't seem to have the tearing issue. So I have no sound. Uh, I think my TV's. Let me just double check. Let's just escape that so it doesn't look like I'm playing someone else's YouTube video. Let's turn up the TV. Oh yeah, TV's on 30. So so there is no sound. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see. Oh, I've got a notification that I'm playing a video. Okay. Uh, so hit Bluetooth. Click on my speaker, which isn't turned on at the moment. So how does it pair to a speaker that's not turned on? Battery, 60%. Connected to LE128. That's my phone it's connected to, so maybe now it's... If I press and hold the Bluetooth button... Ready to pair another device. Yeah, let's go and... Connected to Chromebox 76F1 and LE128. Chromebox, I think it said then. Uh, okay, so I won't play too much of the same video. Uh, I've just I watched this yesterday, just from a quality point of view. This video uh, had eight, three eight K cameras, I think it was, which is just amazing. Uh, the 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 quality and she had the new. Whoa, whoa! Something sounds bad. So it doesn't like previewing. Yeah, this one here. Um, right, it's. Is the audio going to work? Or... <laughs> Why is it so bad? bad? My ears. Right, so I'll turn that right down. Let's skip the advert. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to turn off my speaker for now. I wonder if that makes a difference to the um, performance. Yeah. So the, the fact that it was using the Bluetooth really affected the performance. I better not play too much of this because I don't want any copyright strikes, but the quality uh, of the cameras and the, uh, it was amazing. Right, so it's definitely not one for YouTube. What happens if I click on that? Oh, that just goes up and down. So there's really nothing else on here apart from a browser. Um, but uh, obviously as time goes on, uh, more things can be added. So if we try, uh, let's try, well, I haven't got a controller plugged in. Just out of interest, grab a controller. Got an Xbox 360 wired controller I'm using. So that's booted up. Hopefully it will detect it. Who knows? Because Chrome's funny about um, Chromebooks are funny about controllers. I have a video that shows what controllers work, but this works fine. Right, so uh, I'm playing it in a corner of a screen. I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see it full screen. So controls, Lara's home game. 
Click on game, new game. Well, yeah, it's pretty skippy. There's my guns. Where's the guns? Oh, there's the guns, huh? Oh, don't hang around there. So this is an early build, obviously. Um, so the performance is is understandable. It's not going to be great on this. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's another OS running on Raspberry Pi four. It's early days, but uh, I quite like Chromium as a, as a web browser. If they could get the proper with the Android apps in, or also another Android operating system, that'd be interesting as well. I keep looking out for it, but I haven't found anything yet. Okay, so I uh, hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.